and welcome to another episode of Blank Canvas. Uh, I'm the voice Erica and you are seeing our artist for today, Katrina Fiquer. Um, say hello to our audience, Katrina. Hey everyone, happy Saturday. Yes, happy Saturday. Yes, it's a happy Saturday because it's Blank Canvas time. That's what I love. So, Katrina, for everyone who's just tuning in, uh, what are you working on today? Give us a little taste of what we've got going on here. Well, I am working on a Frida Kahlo piece. <clears throat> I really, really love Frida. She's actually, her story actually like motivates me to keep painting, to be honest. So I just wanted to do something for Frida. I like that. And I'm sure that she's uh, recognizing that from above. <laughs> yeah. RIP. So Katrina, how do you go about choosing the colors um, for, for your pieces? How did you go about choosing the color for this? Um, well, I'm really doing like a basic um, Frida, I guess, complexion, I guess you can say. But um, <clears throat> I don't know, whatever just comes to mind, to be honest. I try to get like close to a skin tone type of feel. But yeah, whatever really comes to mind. So we've got a lot of people tuning in. We have uh, Corinne saying good morning. Good morning, Corinne. We have Jean saying hi, everyone. Hi, Jean. Hi, Jean. Hi. We have Lynn saying hello from California. Ugh. Hi. Uh, I've always you, wanted to go to California. Bet you the weather's beautiful there right now, right? Oh. Uh, Sidiqua says it's amazing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so she really likes what you've got going on here. Thank you. And we have Sherry saying hello from Oregon. Oh, hi, how are you? Uh, Timothy says hi from Maine and getting buried in more snow. <laughs> it's oh. snowing in Maine? Sorry, Timothy. Oh, man. Lindsay says you're a true artist. Oh, thank you, Lindsay. I agree. Thanks. So for everyone who's just tuning in, this is Katrina Fiquer, and she's working on a Frito Kahlo piece. Kahlo piece, excuse me. And um, what are you what are you using today? You're, what kind of medium are you using? Working with? Um, right now, I'm working with acrylics. Um, I mainly work with acrylic paint. So, yeah, I'm working with that. I want to start working with oil, but we'll see how that. Well, I've heard that, especially for oil paint, it's very toxic. So make sure you wear gloves. Oh, yeah. Up. My friend told me yes. that before. And it just takes a very long time to paint, so to dry. So we'll see. Uh, we have Flora saying hi from Baltimore, Maryland. Hey, how are you? And we have Sue saying aloha from Hawaii. Love the painting. Thank you. Aloha. So for everyone who's uh, tuning in, if you want to follow Katrina and see more of her work, you can uh, get on her Instagram page, uh, like some of her pieces, like all of her pieces. <laughs> <laughs> and um, if you have any questions, just want to banter with her about the art world or about any of her pieces or commission her for anything, make sure that you send her a DM, message her. Yeah, I mean that DM. We have Lauren saying hi from Kentucky. And we have Maureen saying hi from California. Hey guys. There's a few people from California from Cali, today. Yeah. Cali's doing it up right now. So Katrina, how long have you been painting? Is it a natural born gift? Did you go to school for this? Um, no, I actually started um, doing illustrations. I did a lot of uh, cartoon characters. But until I got to college, that's when I took a um, studio art as a minor and I and I uh, took a painting class and started from there so I haven't really been painting for that long but I've always been doing art for a while do you find that painting is soothing or calming for you yes I definitely do especially when I have my um, music in the background 
Uh, we have Deborah saying hello from Texas. Hi, Deborah. And uh, Jackie saying Nebraska. Hello from Nebraska. Can't wait to see it finished. Oh, Nebraska. Hi. Oh, we've got Marie saying hi from the United Kingdom. Oh, hi, Marie. Uh, so anybody out there who is just tuning in, we, this is Katrina Frequer. She's our painter, our artist for today. She's working on a piece um, for basically representing Frida Kahlo. And uh, we're happy to have her here. Yeah. So send her some hearts and some thumbs up. And if we have any artists out there, let us know in the comments. Um, let us know what medium you use and if you're a Frida Kahlo fan or who's your favorite um, artist that's inspired you. Carrie says hi from beautiful Georgia. Hi, Carrie. Phyllis says, you go, girl, from <laughs> Taos, New Mexico. Thank you. <laughs> and we have Helen who says, hi from Downsville, New York. How long do you have to allow the paint to dry before you can add another color without it blending, especially when you um, don't want blending? Well, acrylics dry very, very quickly. So right now I'm letting this one dry. Um, so that when I go back on it, I can just add a second coat. But acrylics dry very quickly, to be honest. So probably like two minutes. Uh, Brenda says, I enjoy working with acrylic. Smiley face. <laughs> yeah, acrylic is one of the most common mediums. We have Aaliyah saying hi from Elko, Nevada. Hey. And uh, we have Dinky saying hello from Essex, UK. Dinky, I like that name. <laughs> Dinky, I like that name too. <laughs> and uh, we have Stella saying hello from Bath, New York. Hi, Stella. I don't know if I've ever heard of Bath, New York. Me neither. But uh, it sounds nice. Getting her groove on. I'm Getting her groove on. <laughs> uh, Marcy says hi from New Jersey. What inspires you? Oh, good question. Um, to do like art or just um, in general, if she can elaborate on that question. But for generally speaking, um, what inspires me basically um, just just follow artists that follow their their passion, knowing that they can just do whatever they put their mind to. This is one of the main reasons why I did the Frida piece, the Frida piece. Because regardless of whatever she was going through, she just she did whatever always, she wanted. Yeah, she did whatever she wanted. I love that. Uh, we have Donna here saying, hi Katrina, I do oil painting, but have been curious about acrylic. Is it a lot like oil? No. Well, I haven't really done oil painting, so I can't, I don't really know, but I do know that acrylics dry way faster than Oil, oils do. So it's a slower process with oil, but acrylics is like a fast drying medium. Uh, what's the biggest piece you've ever worked on? Um, the size, I'm not really sure. I would say like 36 by 48. I haven't really dived into huge, huge pieces. I'm starting to do that um, now, actually. So we'll see how big I go. Do you remember what that biggest piece was of? Um, you painted? It was based off of relationships and going through heartbreak and just basically learning how to let go and, um, you know, trust yourself in the process. We have Monique saying, what is the hardest um, to paint with, uh, oil base? Is oil base hard to Do you ever use Well, I never well, use, never use I ne it, so. yeah, I never use oil, but um, I heard it's pretty, I don't want to say it's difficult to use, but I've heard it's pretty challenging. You have to really know what you're doing. But I enjoy um, acrylic, acrylic. We have Sandra saying, I'm just watching in fascination. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Sandy says, love watching this stuff. And Catherine says, wow, I love it. I love watching people paint. Oh, Well, thank we're you. glad that you're tuning in to yes. watch Katrina paint. 
Yes, I am glad that you are tuning in too. Yes, and for anyone who's just tuning in now, this is Katrina Fiquere. She's our painting today on blank cam, our painting, our painter today <laughs> on blank canvas, and she's working on a Frida Kahlo piece. And um, send us any comments or questions you have for Katrina, and if you're on Instagram, follow her on Instagram. Uh, check out some of her other work, like her pieces. And, you know, send her a message or a DM her if you have any specific questions about something she's worked on already or if you just want to yes, talk art. Please do. We'd love to hear from you guys. <coughs> uh, Laura wants to know, is there a specific brand of uh, paint that you like to use? Um, I used to really love using Pro Paint, but it shut down the store. But um, now I just use paints from Blick. So anything there like golden or just like their studio acrylics, I use. Nothing really in particular. As long as the color is nice and vibrant, I'm all for it. Cool. Uh, Christine says, I love working with acrylics. They are so easy and work well on anything, plastic, wood, etc. Acrylic is much easier than oil, easier to manage, easier to clean up, and acrylics are portable. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, by the way. Good afternoon. I totally agree with you. Darlene says, I love this. Oh, thank you, Darlene. And I love that name, too. Yes. And Kimberly says, yeah, acrylic dries a, a thousand times faster than oil and only requires water for cleaning. Yes. <laughs> uh, Lucille says, you're really good. And can we get a shout out, please? I am only eight. Oh, shout out to Lucille. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have Janet says, Hi Katrina, I work with oil. Um, I too love working with acrylic. It dries much faster. Oil is just as easy to work with. Love your work. Thank you. And we have Magdalene who, who comes in every Saturday and Sunday and watches Blank Canvas. I love this. Magdalene, oh, you're so awesome. Fan. And watching from Singapore. It's 3.10 a.m. there. Oh, wow. True fan, diehard fan right there. Yes. We have uh, Sandy saying hello from New York. Sandy Delphine, what part of New York are you saying hello from? Yeah, Sandy. Let us know. Uh, Kimberly saying hello from Burnt Ranch, California. Oh, hey. Ooh. And uh, Aaron saying hi from Johnson, Kansas. I absolutely love painting. It's so soothing. I have worked with oil, and once you get used to it, it's a blast to work with. Okay, I'll definitely try to use oils. That's my next thing. Oh, Sandy said from the Bronx. Hey, Bronx. So we have BX in the house. <laughs> we got the BX. <laughs> <laughs> so anyone who's just joining in, this is Katrina Frequer, and uh, she's our painter today and our lovely artist who is working on a Frito Kahlo piece. How did you for how did you pick this piece that you're working on right now? Um, well the background I picked it based off of her, um, her own paintings. I know she did a lot of like tropical with pieces with animals and all this different type of thing. So I just wanted to capture that and to also um, just capture like the different variations of Frida and her beautiful flowers that she always rocks. You'll see that soon. I can see it turning into a face already. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Um, we have Yasmin saying, it's so relaxing. Hello from Morocco. Love your nails, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <nice nails. laughs> thank you. Do we have any artists who are watching today? If yes, uh, what medium do you use? Uh, do you have any inspiration for, for your painting, sketches, drawings, whatever it is that you work on? Um, do you like Frida Kahlo and why? Tracy says hi from Houston. I'm watching with my with my uh, three month old son. Oh, great! Tracy might end up being a painter. Might. Uh, Carol has a good question. What is the hardest part of work of painting with acrylic? Um, good question. Um. To be honest, I don't really think, I guess blending, because it can, um, it dries so quickly. So you have to, that's why I use like two, two uh, paint brushes Got it. sometimes. So blending, I would say. 
Uh, Carol says, what is the hardest part of painting with acrylic? Um, so we're getting a lot of these questions about... Yeah, <laughs> I would just... I would just say the blending part because everything else is pretty uh, basic when it comes to using acrylic. It's just knowing what you want to um, display on your canvas. Uh, Cheryl says, do you see your paintings in your head first or see them unfold as you go along? Um, I usually see them in my head first, but then when I paint them on the canvas, it turns into something totally different. Uh, we have, um, Kimberly says they also paper sculpture. Have you ever sculpted anything? I have, but I usually use clay. Got it. Yeah. Not paper. I haven't used that one. I have Kathleen who says, yes, I love acrylic painting. It's so relaxing to me. I sell all my picture pictures. I wish I kept some. Oh, I wish you did too. Looking back on all your paintings. So I guess even like kind of playing off that question, um, is there ever a piece that you worked on where you finished it or maybe you didn't finish it, you just weren't quite with it? Yeah, that happens to, to a lot of my pieces. Um, I usually start it, I get excited about it, and then after a while it's just like, ugh, I don't want to do this anymore. So I, I usually take a step back and then for, I come back to it for a few days. I think it's important for artists to take a, take a step away from their, from their work and just come back with fresh new eyes. Got it. Uh, we have Jillian saying, hi, I am in Spain. I paint in acrylics and oils. Prefer oils for the color range you can achieve, but acrylic is great for fast work. Oh, thank you. I'm definitely trying, gonna try to use the uh, foils. We have actually, I know you're working on a Frida, a Frida Kahlo painting, and we have Frida. So hey. where do you get the inspiration? <laughs> um, I got the inspiration basically from some of Frida's paintings that she originally did. She used a lot of tropical um, backgrounds and animals and fruits and flowers. So I just wanted to capture that uh, part of Frida's life because I think that was some of her happiest moments. We have uh, Karina here says, does photography count as art? Of course it yes, does. Yes, it does. Yes. <laughs> It's just a different type of art, yes. but it's definitely art. You're an artist, you're a photographer. We have Kim saying hello from Arizona. How long have you been painting? Um, I've been painting since college, so I would say maybe three years ago, but I've always been um, drawing. I, I illustrated a lot of cartoon characters and different things. And for everyone who's just tuning in, this is Katrina Frequer, and she's our painter today on Blank Canvas. You can follow her on Instagram, and you can see all of her other work on there, and like her pieces, send her messages, ask her questions, whether it's just about art or something that she has up there that you might be interested in. Um, and if you're an artist, or if you know anyone who's an artist, or if you have any artists that are an inspiration to you, a role model in any way, let us know in the comments. Yeah. Uh, we have Carol who says, I use water to dilute. It still works better for me, and I mix on the plastic trays um, that that it comes on. So, do you? what do you use to mix your, your paints? Um, you use? I usually use water. Um, I also have this other medium. It's, it's like a flowy thing. I don't even know what it's called, but um, it's something like water, but it helps to have the like the flow, make it more thin if your paint is a little too thick to work with. But I usually use water for the most part. We have Melanie saying hi from Monte Carlo. I'm a watercolorist and occasionally use acrylics. Oh, hi. 
Have you I, ever used watercolor? I haven't never, you no, know, I don't think I've used watercolor. Maybe when I was younger, in school, but I don't, I don't particularly use it. We have Barbara saying hello from Rochester, New York, and says love with a thumbs up. Thank you. I agree. I love it too. <laughs> uh, Mary saying hello from Houston, Texas. Hey. And Kathleen wants to know, do you use angle brushes? Um, yes, I do. It all depends on what I am um, painting, though. But um. I do have it in my in my uh, collection of paintbrushes. Uh, hopefully, you'll know what this is. Kathleen says for shading. What do you, so basically, what do you use? Maybe that's what she means. Or Kathleen, you might have to elaborate on that question. Um, for shading. To, yeah, I'm not sure. I just yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, Kathleen, can you can you elaborate on that question uh, that you're asking about in regards to shading? We have Poppy Rose, I like that name, yeah. saying hi from Australia, <laughs> love your painting. Thank you, Poppy Rose. And Linda saying, are we going to see this done? Smiley face. I hope so. <laughs> well, we've got about 20 minutes, <laughs> that we'll see where she gets with this. But so far, so good. I love the colors. Uh, Judith says hello from Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Great job thus far. Thank you. Oh, Kathy wanted to know, do you use angle brushes for shading? Sorry, it came in two pieces. Oh. So. Um, no. I honestly use whatever brush I have. To be honest, but I don't use the the um, the way I shade is basically with the with the paint with the paint the acrylics, and I use whatever brush suits it better. So it all depends on what it is. But if you use angle brushes, then that's that's cool too. Oh, we have Miriam saying hello. From San Antonio, I love the color scheme. I am currently working on a Frida piece myself. Oh, Team Frida. Uh, Kimberly says, watercolor is hard due to no white paint. You have to leave your paper while working around it. Oh, really? Thanks for the tip, I've never known that before. Uh, Leslie wants to know, have you ever done any awareness pieces? No, I haven't. Um, well, actually I have. It was about um, drug, using drug use for like, to cope with. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so Mary, who's just tuning in, says, hi, what is she painting? So why don't you tell our audience out there what you're working on today? I am working on a Frida Kahlo piece. I really love Frida, what she's about, she was about, but yeah, so I'm working on a piece, three different variations. And what made you want to do the three different variations? Um, I honestly think I just wanted to not just have one big picture of her in the center of the canvas, and I just wanted to uh, expand it a bit, make it a little different. Well, Linda says it's beautiful. No, thank you. <laughs> and Jean says, hello from South Wales, UK. Hi, you Jean. are so talented. Thank you so much. And Doris says, Doris from Glasgow, fascinated by your blending and layering colors on your actual painting. I usually mix mine on a palette, but your method produces a much more lively finish. 
Oh, yes. Um, I mix mine on a palette also, but I think the background of my uh, piece is kind of making it hard to blend a bit. We have Mary saying very nice. And uh, Gail saying neat. Green is a nice color. Yes, Thank it is. Thank you. Yeah. What are yours? What are... Uh, your some of your favorite colors? Uh, well, my favorite color is purple. Anything in that family. So do you feel like you paint a lot with purples? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Unless I, it, unless depends on the painting, but not necessarily. Uh, Cheryl says, beautiful from Columbus, Ohio. Thank you. And Deborah says, I look forward to seeing the end piece from Lincolnshire, UK. Thank you. There are a lot of people from the UK watching yeah. today. Yeah. UK and, Ca and, and California. UK and California. We have it's a few Texans up. in here. <laughs> but no matter where you guys are watching from, we do appreciate you guys watching Blank yes. Canvas today. So um, keep your questions and your comments coming for Katrina. Like I said, this is uh, Katrina Fiquer. She's our painter for today. She's working on a, a Frida Kahlo um, piece. And um, for anyone who's just tuning in, you can follow her on Instagram and DM her, send her a message about some of her pieces or anything you want to know about her. Uh, she's happy to answer your questions. Yes, bring them on. We have Karina asking, do you get inspired by the seasons, colors, styles, etc.? No. Um... I honestly get inspired by stories and uh, music and real life experiences. Things that go through my head, mostly. Uh, Masha says hello from North Carolina. Hi Masha. And Minette says looking good. Oh, thank you. I agree. Uh, Cheyenne wants to know, what did you use for the outline? It looks like chalk. It looks great, by the way. Here from Maryland. Oh, thank you. Um, it's actually this crayon. Um, uh, it's this crayon thing that I have in my to in my art toolbox thing. But it looks, it comes off like chalk, to be honest. So she's not, you're not totally off from that. It's like a crayon. Uh, Poppy Rose says, do you enjoy painting? I, I do enjoy so, painting, yeah. yeah. Very soothing. How long does it usually take you to finish a piece? I know it probably depends, varies by size, but. Yeah, it does. Um, there are times that I've done a painting for, if I'm doing it for a day, I probably spent a good seven hours on one and I probably still wouldn't even be done. So it, it takes a it takes a while to finish um, a painting. I'm not really sure how long it takes. Uh, Poppy Rose says it looks like a person's head. It is. It's it is. Hollow. <laughs> it is. But I'm glad I'm doing it right. You can notice that it's a person's head. <laughs> I know a lot of people are asking. They're saying. Um, because they know there's not like so much time for the show. We wish we had hours and hours. Yeah. <laughs> uh, will they start to see the formation of the actual face, like the features? Yeah, I'll um, do, well, the, actually the face, I'm not doing a face. It's one of those things where I want you to know it's her, but it's really, like I don't want you to see the actual face Got of it. it. I'm just drawing like strong features that she has. So you'll just see her, her brow as her face and everything else. Uh, Carol wants to know, what was your first painting? Do you remember? Uh, my first painting, I do not remember. Um, it had to have been a class photo, but I've given, my first painting I actually gave to someone was um, a dancing photo. She danced a lot, and uh, I gave her, she took a picture of her in a particular pose, and I painted that, that same picture. So, I guess it's a, a dancing photo? <laughs> uh, Carol says, I use sewing tracing paper and draw on it for my pattern. Oh, 
That's different. That's different, yeah. She's probably a fashion fashion illustrator. Judith wants to know, is it hard to paint while people watch? Um, no, I thought it would be, but it's it's pretty much the same. I just have someone to talk to now. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're not lonely. You have me and, and everyone out there yeah. who's watching. <laughs> Sherry says, I love the shadow. It pops out at you. Thank you. And uh, we have Mary saying, I also do painting, but I like doing still life, like fruits and wine bottles for now. Do you ever do still life? Um, no. If I have, it was probably for a class assignment. So how long have you been painting? Are you, are you self-taught? Did you go to school? Um, I went to, I had a class. I had minored in um, studio art. And um, we did a lot of paintings there, and I kind of fell in love with it from there on. It was, it was very, it was one of the, the only classes that didn't seem like a drag. Deborah Knoll says, love to see some of your other pieces, and I agree, painting is very soothing, Longshire UK. Deborah, you can see her other pieces. If you follow her on Instagram, is your Instagram page pri uh, private or public? No, it's... Uh, it's uh, public. It's public, Deborah. So anyone out there who wants to follow her on Instagram, her information's up. And um, you don't have to have an Instagram page if, if uh, you want to see her work because it's public. Yeah. And then um, you can see some of her pieces and get in touch with her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have Fatima requesting that you please look into the camera. She'd like to see your face, love. Oh, so maybe throw a smile for the... Hey, guys. <laughs> we still have a lot of people saying very nice, Thank great you. painting. A lot of people are saying they use acrylics, too. I love that. Yeah, it's really an easy way to do things. Uh, we have Carol saying, I find it hard to part with my paintings. Do you feel the same way? Yes, um, definitely. Because uh, when I try to do um, other shows or if somebody wants to get a painting from me, I'm like, oh, I love this so much. I don't think I can do this again. So I kind of want to keep them. But it's best to give them away so you can do better work. Keep producing more work. Fatima says, you are pretty, with a thumbs up and a flower. Oh, thank you, Fatima. <laughs> and Linda says, she's beautiful, with a smiley face. Thank you. Yes, she you is. You guys are so nice. Uh, Connie says, I would so much like to get into this type of painting. You can. You can. Go to a local Art craft store. store and go get some paint. Go get some brushes and just go at it. Have yeah. a good time. You paint what you love. Uh, Janeka says... Sometimes I don't know how to paint. Um, how do you know what to paint? Um, you honestly just paint whatever you, your heart desires. If you see something, you have a favorite show, you might want to mimic that. If you have, um, if you just want to put color on your canvas, you can do that. It's based, it's really whatever you want to do. You can write symbols, anything. David writes, very nice. Thank you, David. Yes, yeah, so you guys, keep the hearts and thumbs up coming. I love what I'm seeing flying across the screen. It's Hi. wonderful. And uh, Deborah says, wonderful. I will look forward to following your work, and you have a lovely smile. Good luck for the future. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And Jenica says, thanks for the advice. Oh, no problem. So for anyone who's just tuning in, this is Katrina Fiquer. She's our painter today, and uh, she's working on a piece um, for a tribute to Frida Kahlo. So um, I really enjoy the, the colors that you're using. Uh, what made you want to choose these particular colors? Um, only because uh, Frida was a very, even though she went through a lot of heartbreak and, you know, all that stuff, 
She was very vibrant. She was very like colorful and bold and I just wanted to showcase that and um, her heritage through these pieces with this color, through this piece with this color, these colors. Do we have anyone out there who's watching uh, who's an artist who may have been inspired by Frida Kahlo as well? Or tell us who you were inspired by and yeah. what medium do you use? We have Brielle, she says, this looks absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. And Poppy Rose says, looks really nice, well done. Thank you. Adelie says, hi from Missouri, looks great. I like that name, Adelie. Yeah, that's, that's a, a nice really name. cute name. And uh, Tooz says, I draw sometimes with oil pastels. I know it's not acrylic paint, but have you tried it? Um, no, I haven't. I really want to get into it. So we'll see how that, that goes. <laughs> Brielle said, oh my God, you actually said my name right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm not too bad with it. Yes, pretty good. <laughs> I'm glad that made you happy, Brielle. <laughs> and thank you for watching. Yes, thank you everyone who's watching right now. Yeah. I know there are so many people that are watching from all over the world. We have people here in New York. Uh, we have people from the UK, from California, Texas, Chicago, Missouri. Um, thank you guys. We, we appreciate you guys tuning in. Yeah, thank Whether you. it's your first time or we have fans that come back every Saturday and Sunday for Blank Canvas. This makes us really happy. Lainey says, hi from Tennessee. Looks so beautiful. Thank you so much. And Yvonne wants to know, do you teach art classes at all? No, I don't teach art classes. Would you ever? I'm not sure. I don't know. I feel like I'm not sure if I'm good at teaching how to do art. I think uh, I might have to take a few classes in order to do that. But um, I don't know. We'll see. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carol says, I always spray seal mine when done. Oh, I usually, um, I usually have this gloss thing that I pour over it to give it a shine. Um, but I, I, I know a, a spray also, it's like a clear crystal spray that I usually get from, from uh, an art store too. Might be the same thing. Janica says, I'm actually going to paint something similar tonight, but a natural hair theme. You guys gave me a great idea, thank you. Oh, great. I like that idea. Yeah. Uh, Vera says, love your artwork, well done. I do some painting myself. Oh, thank you. Artists gotta stick together. Yes. <laughs> and uh, Peggy Sue says, Utah here, looking sweet, love your colors. Thank you so much. Yes, I love the colors as well. So everyone who's just tuning in, we have Katrina Piquer here, and she's working on a Frida Kahlo piece. Um, can you let everyone out there know why you chose this piece and what medium you're working with? Um, I'm working with acrylics right now and I chose this piece because I really love Frida and um, her story. She was one of those artists who throughout all the struggling and hard work and breakups that she went through, she still was able to paint because that's something that she loved to do. Are there any other artists that um, have inspired you? Um, I do love Basquiat, but I love their stories more, just knowing that they just do whatever they want to, to uh, follow their dreams, very passionate about what they do, regardless of what anyone says. Right now, I do love uh, Cause. His artwork is pretty, pretty interesting. I love it. Very animated. We have Yvonne here. He says, "I love painting on nails. I would, I would do nail art inspired by your art." Oh, thank that's you. really awesome, Yvonne. That is really cool. And I love nail art. Well. Some people on here already said they love your nails. Oh, yeah. So. Thank you. <laughs> and anyone out there, uh, if you want to see any any uh, pieces by Katrina, make sure that you follow her on Instagram and you can see the rest of her work. 
And if you have any questions about her work, she's open to you sending her a message, DMing her, and you guys can go from there. Yeah. Angie says, I'm learning, but my favorite medium is watercolor. Says hello from London. Oh, hello. I like how watercolor comes out too on um on canvases when I see other people's work. Uh, we have uh, Alicia, or Alicia, hopefully I'm saying that right, uh, from Orange County, California, saying, love to paint but need encourager. This is a great Frida Kahlo, there's a great Frida Kahlo on exhibit here at Bowers Museum. Uh, going to see it next week. Oh. I usually work with watercolor, but we'll do classes with other mediums. Yeah, it's very important to do classes and learn as much as, much as you can. So good, good on that. Uh, Miriam wants to know, do you trace? Um, no, I don't trace. Um, I just look at it, look at pictures sometimes, get inspiration, and I go from there. But no, I don't trace. Do you usually feel like you get most of your inspiration from pictures, or you do you like have a dream or just see it in your mind and then it just <laughs> comes to you? Um, I usually see it in my mind, but to get the form of some certain, like if I'm doing a person and they're in movement, like to get the form of that, I would look at something just to get an idea, but everything else would just come to mind. We have Kimberly saying, wish I had that talent. Oh, Kimberly, I'm sure you have too. a talent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're all talented in our own ways. We're all artists in our own ways. Yeah, Whether I truly it's painting, believe that. drawing, sketching, photography, making, making things, crafts, mm -hmm. We're all talented. We still have a lot of people saying hello, howdy, love the painting, love the colors. Thank you. And how long again have you been painting? Um, I would say probably three, four years I've been painting. So I started when I was in, back in school, so I would say around there. Uh, Kimberly said, yeah, wrecking motorcycles. That's her talent. <laughs> Well, that's a talent thing, right. Kimberly. We like it. Just don't don't wreck anymore. We don't want you to get hurt. <laughs> we want you to come back for tomorrow's show and the rest of our weekend shows. <laughs> uh, Lourdes says hello. Hello. Lourdes, where are you saying hello from? And uh, Patty says that uh, she uses watercolor and glass. Oh, that's an interesting, interesting combination. Yeah, it's yeah. different. So for anyone out there who just who is just tuning in, this is Katrina Fiquer, and uh, she's our painter for today on Blank Canvas, and she's done such an awesome job, but we're out of time. Um, if you want to see more of her work, please follow her on Instagram. It's a public page, so even if you don't have an Instagram account yourself, you can still find her, her account, look at some of her work, and if you want to... Just show her some love, get in touch with her about some of her other pieces. She's open to it, she wants to see it. Katrina, thank you so much for being on Blank Canvas today. Um, I hope that once this piece is done, you post it on your Instagram page for all of us to see. Oh, thank you so much for having me, and I'll definitely post this on my page once I'm finished. <laughs> and thank you to everyone who, who tuned into Blank Canvas today, whether you're a first time, uh, tuner in her <laughs> that's not even a real word <laughs> just making some jokes here um or you come on every weekend thank you so much uh we always appreciate it and i want to say happy saturday and we'll be back with another artist tomorrow at noon have a good weekend Bye.